Welcome to this video cast on MySQL in your DB cluster. We just released MySQL shell in release candidate and we're going to see how we can use it to create a MySQL in your DB cluster. So in this example I have three Linux machines, CentOS 5.7 and first of all I will install the MySQL 5.7 community YUM repositories. So let's install them on all the three machines. It's installed. Let's check now which version of MySQL server is available from the repository. As you can see, 5.7.17, which is the latest GA at this time. So we're going to install MySQL Server on all the three Linux instances we have. Okay, now it's done. We need also to uh, initialize our uh, MySQL so we're going to do that to create all the data directory information we need and also the system tables. I will use initialize and secure, which I don't really recommend you to do in production, but I will do it here so I don't have to uh, check for the temporary random password for root user that has been created and changed it. So to make it much faster, I will use just initialize and secure. So this is done. The next step will be to install the MySQL shell. As the shell is not yet GA, I need to enable an extra repository, which is present from the release we already installed, and it's called MySQL Tool Preview. So I install it on all the three machines. This is done. Perfect. So next step, let's have a look if the shell is working. So we run the shell and we can see that we are using shell 180RC. So now let's start MySQL D on all the two machines. So I use system D here. So it seems to be started. Let's verify this. And as you can see, MySQL D it's running on all the three servers. Perfect. So our next step is we use the shell again and we will check the configuration of this instance, the local instance on MySQL 1. As you can see, there is some configuration errors. Some settings are not compatible with the NDB cluster and needs to be changed. Or we change them manually or we can use also the shell to make the change and this is what I'm gonna do here. So I will use another DBA command called configure local instance It asks me for the password. It asks me if I change EDC my CNF. I said yes. And now I create an account. And this account will be the one I will use on all the, the machines, on all the instances or member of the group to um, manage it. So I create a user threat here at 100%. So I restart MySQL because it asks for a restart. Restart required is true. I know MySQL D is restarted. Let's check again the instance. And now the configuration, it's okay. So this machine, MySQL 1, can be part of the cluster. 
So now let's check if from this machine we can configure a remote host. So let's try this. I will try to configure from MySQL 1 MySQL 2 using the shell. And of course this, is, this doesn't work. It is not possible from MySQL 1 to modify the configuration of MySQL 2. So what we're gonna do there, we're gonna run MySQL shell on the other uh, members of the group, the future members of the group, so MySQL 2 and MySQL 3, and we will check, uh, we will configure them. You can check if you want to, but let's do the configure local instance on both of them. Ask me again if I want to change my CNF, which I say yes, and then I will create the exact same user, so fret at percent and with the same password on both instances. As you can see, it requires again a restart and we will restart the two instances. Uses systemctl restart mysql d Okay, this is done. So now I go back to my previous shell because I cannot configure them remotely, so the, the MyCNF, and I can not restart it, but I can manage them from uh, a route. So I will create variables for all my uh, instances, and here I check. I will try, so I will connect, I'll check the instance, all three of them from the, sh the shell on MySQL 1 and they all say okay configuration is checked and it's okay on all of them. So what's next? Next I will of course um, connect to one of the nodes that will be the seed. I will connect to uh, MySQL 1 here and I will create the cluster. But pay attention here when I will create the, the cluster using MySQL 1, of course, I will call it my cluster. I'm connected to MySQL 1, remember, it doesn't work. It says, oh, MySQL 1 point also to a local IP, which is uh, the loopback uh, interface. So to bypass this, I will just use um, use the the IP of the interface I want to that is known by all the other uh, nodes. So to do that, I will just add the IP like this. So now I can connect again. And I will create the cluster called my cluster. So it creates everything and it's done. I can of course verify this with cluster status function. And we can see we have one cluster, uh, one um, instance in the cluster, one node. So we are not tolerant to any uh, failure of course. So the next step is that we're going to check the instant state of the other nodes. So let's take a look. Ask me for the password. He said, OK, it's fine. There is no extra data on these nodes and they can join the cluster without any issue. So let's add instance now so I will start by i3 so my SQL tree I add it now we'll do the same with my SQL 2 
So my instances are added and I will check the status. And as you can see, now all my nodes are online and one is in read write and the other ones are in read only. I can check also the um, uh, group replication performance schema uh, members table to see if group replication is configured and working like we expect. And as you see, all nodes are online. Thank you for watching and enjoy.